Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, Nintendo Free 2012 here, AK Chris is a guy 2009. I know I've been really gone for a real long ass time and um, it's gonna really be painful for me to say this, but um, it's not that I'm quitting YouTube. Think about next year probably quitting because um, basically and quite frankly, um, this is for both of my channels, my Criticism Guy 2009 channel and my um, also my Nintendo Free 2012, 2011, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, oh, hope you like the Buffalo Bills thing in the background, real nice. This is either going to be a two part or three part video because I'm not going to have a lot of time to say what I want to say. This might be the last time I'm in the garage. I'm probably going to be upstairs or in the office room a little bit more doing videos there because it's starting to get real cool down here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it, I'm not saying I'm going to quit YouTube, but um, here it goes. I'm going to do my 50-50 interview, 50-50 review, movie review with Seth Rogen and the dude from, um, I forgot his name, 500 Days of Summer and um, I'm trying to remember the other movie, Angel Hosey Outfield, who was real, real young. He goes, um, something, 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 he had a real long ass name. As a matter of fact, let me go search it up for you. It was a very amazing um, movie. Oh my god, this is a very fucking amazing movie. <laughs> Definitely. But uh, yeah, with Seth Rogen and the other dude, very awesome. You know, I'm actually going to do my thing today. As far as alternative media, that's probably the only thing I'm probably going to be um, saying from now on in my videos. Video games, movies, and the other one, I'm probably going to have to cut those out for a really long time like I do with the Green Lantern. And uh, yeah, sorry to say it, but that's how it is. Okay, I'm searching the movie right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, um, as far as that goes, you know, I'm going to do that review. And um, the Sea Green TV, the whole thing on Falcon, I'll leave a link on this thing. I really don't know how to explain that well. My words are all over the fucking goddamn place because... Um, it hurts a lot, you know? <laughs> it hurts a whole damn lot to say that I'm going to be quitting YouTube next year. My Nintendo Freak one, I'm probably going to keep. I don't know my criticism guy. I'm going to leave it up there, but I'm probably not going to do too many videos there anymore. I'm sorry for all the subscribers over there, all my 40 subs, you know. That's a real amazing thing. Oh, there it goes, right there. 50-50. Ba -ba this is just a movie review, so um, hang in there with me. Um... That's what his name was, Joseph Gordon Levitt. That's what he was. The little ass kid from um, Angels in the Outfield. You now there goes like the whole slideshow. You could, I'll leave the link on Google, whatever it is. This is the main website right now, though. It is uh, IMBD, DD, whatever it was. <laughs> the director was Jonathan Levine, a real fucking awesome guy. You know, definitely I recommend you check out the movie if you're inspiration. If you have a family member that has cancer. Or, a tumor, you know, this is a way to make, to like, not make fun of the people with the cancer, like, to get through those hard times with your le leukemia and chemotherapy. You know, I'm not a doctor or lawyer, but literally people, um, I'm just saying stuff off the top of my head. Um, very amazing movie, Seth Rogen, funny as always, a very amazing guy, and, um, you know, I gotta give props to the girl that was a therapist, a very beautiful young woman. She wasn't blonde, but she was hot. She kind of looked like the girl out Mean Girls. It wasn't a Lindsay Lohan, that's for damn sure. But, uh, yeah, you know, um, like I said before with the Sea Green TV, yeah, I'm going to leave all the links on the description. I have no idea how to say it. I did look into the um, peak oil. It is very scary times that we are living in, ladies and gentlemen. That's for damn sure. I'm not trying to be a fear monger, but that's all I'm saying. So without further ado, um, you know, the movie, I'm going to spoil it for you. At the end, he does live. He has a big old like spine thing in the back of his head or whatever in his neck or whatever it is, I don't know, somewhere in his back. He goes his low, lower spine, I thought, he, I thought he was going to be paralyzed from the waist down, but apparently not. But uh, with all due respect, you know, the movie was amazing, it was sad, but it was funny too, because they said the Rogan gets his car stolen from Joseph Gordon Love. I don't know what their names are in the movies, I just know the names in real life. Uh, you know, he drinks and all that. He shows... It's actually all in Seattle, too. So if any of you guys um, are subscribed to Jeremy Jams, you know, the dude that does a lot more movie reviews on my Nintendo fan page, you know, you know exactly who I'm talking about. He's kind of like um, Kevin Bjork and Phil DeFranco, aka Sexy Phil, which I really don't give a shit about no more because he sucks dick. But, uh, yeah, apparently, um, very amazing guy, very awesome, you know, um, 
I love how the director just captures the view. I wish they would have had like bloopers and behind the scenes because Seth Rogen does that a lot in the movies like Jack Chan used to do back in the days. But if any of you ever saw his older works like Superbad, um, Zack and Mir make a porno, um, what other movies has he made? He made like a billion tons of movies. Back when I was even in high school, he was the funniest ass dude in the world. Just like the other dude, before he got real super skinny, um, Jonah Hill, that's what I'm thinking about, uh, you know. Especially when he did Pineapple Express. Oh, you gotta love the classics on Seth Rogen. He hasn't even been around that long. He's only been around for a few years. He's making billions. I mean, he was even a family guy, and I think South Park, they did parodies of him. So definitely check it out. I'm gonna leave all those links on the sidebars. But um, as far for alternative media, you know, video game reviews, I'm probably not gonna do that anymore because I'm a job hunting thing in real life, which I'm not gonna get too personal on YouTube because once again, I really don't want any stalkers today. No, I actually just came back from all that, but um, I'm kind of going to leave that to the side because I really don't want nobody in my city, in my state, stalking me, let alone the states of the U.S. As far as anyone outside the country, I wouldn't give a shit. Stalking me as much as you want on the internet. Real life, out of the fucking question. That's damn sure not fucking happening because I do have an AK fucking 47 in my backyard. You don't believe me? Fuck off. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to make this a happy moment, you know, it's a real good ass times, you know. And I'm probably going to do a part two of this, but it's not going to be about the 50-50 movie review. And I just basically kissed Seth Rogen's ass 24-7. The main thing I like about most of his movies, he always has something with marijuana involved. You know, he's a real cool guy, you know. He's always wanting pussy. He's usually a, more for the teenagers, but in my mind, it's like those good teen, teen years I had. You know, I'm only 22, about to be 23 in a few months, but um... No, with all that said, you know, amazing character, the way he directed it, the producers for that whole movie, 50-50, real amazing. I like how they did all the cars, the environment they were in, you know. His girlfriend is actually a bitch who actually ends up cheating on him in the arts and all that, you know. It takes a lot of place in real life, and his mom and dad's all worried about him, scared and everything, and blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the list goes on and on and on. Now I'm just babbling about him. But yeah, I'm a real huge ass fan of him, you know, very amazing dude. Um, yep, so now, for now on, no more video game reviews. Yeah. And I'm not telling you where I work at, you bastard motherfuckers, because it ain't happening. I'm probably going to set this video to private, too, so um, sorry for all the people that are out there. The only two people I could give shoutouts one more time, as far as shoutouts go, I'm not going to do that in my criticism guy thing no more, but I'm probably going to do it in my Nintendo freak, um, thing a little bit more so um yeah it is what it is see you soon um hopefully be back for part two because um this weekday and next weekday basically this whole month i'm probably gonna be off probably not till thanksgiving and christmas i'll probably make another video so it's gonna be a long ass time i'm definitely telling you guys <laughs> now i'm actually gonna have a real actual life out there scary world out there but it's true okay so as the people um peace out bros and women and um don't drink and drive. It's only the weekend. It's only a Wednesday. So Wednesday, October 5th, 2011 is 1 a.m. on the West. Actually, 1 p.m. on the West Coast, excuse me. And that is it. I'll see you next week. I know you see a lot of my flaws and everything because I do not know how to edit videos for if my life depended on it. But, yeah, I'm just leaving it at that. I'm getting thirsty as hell. even though it's cold as a mug out here. All right, take care. See you when I see you. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, etc. You know the deal. See you in part two with our alternative media news with um, C. Green and Fabian for Liberty, all right? Even Alex Jones. Big shout out to that dude with his friend Dave. Peace.